Um, Someone just sent me a link. Jada Pinkett Smith breaking Will Smith's heart for four minutes straight. That's. Can, that's we, talk, can we talk about how 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 bad how down bad Will Smith is? Uh, yes. If anybody's not familiar with the current climate surrounding Will Smith, his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, currently is on this rampage of just going around on her talk show and other various forms of media and just like just berating her husband, Will Smith, American hero, who we all know and love. And Will Smith is just taking it. And like at any moment, could Will Smith like fucking get a 22 year old girlfriend and call it a day? But he just continues to take it from Jada Pinkett Smith, who, in my opinion, has half the talent. But that's neither here nor there. And I'm just like, bro, like, stand up for yourself, dog. Like, what, what, what's going on? Anyway, there was a funny thing I sent it to you on Instagram. Someone said, uh, Will Smith should hang out with Future and, like, like, get a lesson. And then Future was like, I'd rather hang out with Jada. Former, I mean, further solidifying that Future is cold as fuck. So, yeah, that, that, that's, just, that's just a little bit of hollywood entertainment news to get you through the week just a little showbiz gossiping showbiz gossiping will smith is releasing a book and he's like oh this is the might, most might, vulnerable yeah. like what i might i might get that loki yeah I'm, I'm definitely gonna read it but he was like oh this is the most vulnerable i've ever been i cried i cried i cried and i just know jade is looking at this pussy drying up probably reading the book with a 25 year old man in her bed that just like knocked her down while will smith is over there being rich and happy faithful rich and faithful and talented it's like dude it's like god damn it will fuck it she should be fighting for you dude you don't think he's he's fine with just having the mother of his children go in other places if he's not what do you want will to do fucking 20 year old uh, I want him to take his power back. I want him to leave Jada. What power do you think he doesn't have? Um, have you seen the show where she's literally like talking about how she fucked a 25-year-old and he's just sitting there crying? No, I have not. How fucking like powerless. I've never seen a man just like so. Especially, it's a little worse because Will Smith is like, or used to be the biggest like star in America <clears throat> or star in the world. So to just see him like this, I'm just like, dude, like, why aren't you like George Clooney? Why aren't you like, like the rock? Like, you know, like we, you look at their women, their women look up to them and your wife is shitting on you on her show. You know, she obviously does not respect you. Sure. I understand that. That's my whole thing some some uh, a lack of respect from a partner of yours yeah sure and like you know i understand like it's her show but still like their fucking their image is like combined yeah. talking about how she used to fuck Pac. i don't think she said that but like you, you don't think he's uh <coughs> kind of out there for publicity at this point hmm you don't think he's just there for publicity at this point and maybe he's been separated her for a minute now oh they oh they no they definitely fuck other people but the difference is will's not going on tv talking about it because will has like some form of some shred of respect yeah, for his wife. Isn't, isn't that more power to him than than not like uh, you, you, i understand the the lack of respect coming from a partner in her and her potentially talking about just having sex with other people but like do you not think it's powerful that he's kind of just not caring about it in public i think it's powerful he probably read that one book i forgot what it's called about like not talking about everything you know however mm -hmm. it hurts me to sing and see a strong king fall How, a very fallen because look just... at who is shitting on him I don't know. I don't know. I don't keep up. That's part of the mind share. I don't like. I don't like show his gossip, but I will. 
inquire for the sake of the show. But I, it, it seems like he's just doing his own thing. I don't know. He just looks like a bitch. Wow. But if he doesn't care, I guess that's, that's fine. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, if, if, he, if he doesn't care, then how is that other people on the internet say then, oh, where's your power, bro? Where's your freaking man pill? Like, what What do you, what do you think that's less power? Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. But you got a whole bunch of community people online being like, yo, you got to, there, there's a there's a theory that someone had about the whole manosphere thing is kind of like a, a psyop where it's it's kind of just tearing down people. Um, yeah, I mean, to me, the last clip I saw of Will Smith was him signing books with his son and his father. So it seemed kind of happy. Like, why would he care about, like, he's probably divorced. <laughs> he's just not divorced because he's he has a, a public image, like you said, with his ex-flame that he had his kids with. So he might want to go out and say, what's up? Get get on her show, publicize his book, and then he goes on with his life. Seems pretty okay in my eye. Well, well I can respect it something, sure. But, I mean... it. Like, are are you gonna, <laughs> if if a chick on the internet is posting stuff about you and trying to get your attention, and you're in a better place, I feel like it's more powerful powerful to not do anything, especially public as a public figure, than to be like, oh yeah, dude, I'm fucking future. I'm super sad, but I'm having sex with everybody. Well, look, what's the difference there? You said a chick on the internet versus your wife, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of what twenty five years. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's a point in every relationship where the woman gets comfortable with disrespecting the man, like whether it just be in conversation, whether it be around friends. And is there? I think so. Disrespect? I, disrespect. Do you think that's the same for men? Hmm. Well, it's like, well, it's, yes, I don't want, I don't want to like name names. Okay. But like, when I like, when I like hang out with like certain couples, like the girl, will like take like jabs at the boyfriend that you wouldn't hear her say at the beginning of the relationship, something like, Oh, like I wish my boyfriend would do this. Like so-and-so I wish my boyfriend would lose some weight, you know? that's well literally. that's just that's just disrespect that's something you say oh, privately you know sure, that's that's someone i would i would not want to engage my life with exactly so a, a positive like yo dude you're fucking you're getting fat my guy <laughs> yeah so like if that were to happen at the beginning of the relationship then the relationship wouldn't continue but then after a couple of years when the they, man they gets up. comfortable and he starts getting fat and he's like then the woman starts like noticing his flaws and starts looking around for other options then she'll be like you know my my boyfriend used to do this my boyfriend used to do that is the the opposite side there as well of man to female i think i think it's a little different i think it's a little different because i think the man looks for different things in terms of continuing the relationship they both look for obviously loyalty but the woman looks for performance the woman looks for improvement throughout the relationship are you making more today than you made when we met three years ago or are you stagnant or are you declining mm -hmm. and the man is just like you still love me you still hot okay cool you know see that's where i think for me are you am i still attracted to you but are you loyal do you give me respect and do you make my life more peaceful and if i had a family do you help me engage in my family do you help me improving myself or help me improve myself not are you still hot and loyal well okay so i didn't you literally said everything i just said you just phrased it differently you okay. did say loyalty and you said am i still attracted to you but you didn't say are you making the same living you used to make is your career I, I, going I a added, certain way i added do you make my life peaceful and more engaging in it if i had a family as well the, the the peace aspect is a, is a big portion for me the peace is good but the peace doesn't have to do with career the peace is i'm saying for 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 me thinking of a female to 
to spend time with if you're making my life less peaceful and not enjoyable and give me a opportunity and space to produce something for the family then you're not someone i would be ideally with you you pretty much just said i'm not gonna say every man but what most men want in a woman so like a man wants a quote-unquote safe space to come home to after battling the world because no one wants to battle the world and then come home and battle his wife that's mm -hmm. a fucking headache mm -hmm. right and the woman not only wants that but more than that wants a man that she can trust to be a form of security safety and production exactly in the motion see so like when you're in the relationship and after a couple years like the woman might still be providing that like she might still be like a very high contender to be the mother of your children because she's your safe space she's like cool like whatever but if the man's not fulfilling his side of the obligation as in continuing to be a prospect for security then she's gonna start vocalizing that in the form of blatant disrespect so it doesn't seem like it's on the man it's on the man it's a hundred percent on the man whether you're in a relationship or not you always got to go to work and perform mm -hmm. that's that that's my whole thing and and more often than not <laughs> if you look at guys when before they got with their girlfriends and after they're in better shape before because mm -hmm. they always have to they are they're always like i need the opportunity to fuck when the opportunity comes i want to be in the best shape ever you know but then they're like okay i gave him, i'm getting constant pussy now plus i live with my girlfriend i don't need to go to the gym i don't need to work that hard to get that promotion mm, that just means you don't have discipline and drive as a dude maybe maybe that drive lessens because of some bio chemical thing because you have a mate now mm -hmm. but that just means you have less drive and that's on you still that's the problem it's all on the man it's yeah. all on the man so men need to recognize that even though they have a woman they need to continue still, to strive for excellence your, yeah still at the end of the day every individual is responsible for themselves their happiness their place in life or their reaction to their place in life so if you only see yourself as a as a husband or a father, you still need to see yourself as an individual who should want to progress, learn things, stay disciplined, and they have a big ass goal you can trick yourself into being disciplined for. Um, here's a point someone told me. Tell me because it. once once she starts like disrespecting you, especially in public, then am I am I a schmuck? Am I schmuck, schmuck to her? Head? You're schmuck to her. Am I a schmuck? Am I disciplined and progressing? Well, like it, it's all relative, you know. Like sure. she, her ex boyfriend could have made a million dollars a month, and you make yeah. two hundred thousand a month. And there's someone random, twenty four year old who's a billionaire. Yeah. Who's so like whatever her gauge of value is, mm -hmm. but like once, once she starts disrespecting you in public, then you gotta take a look at the relationship and see what you need to improve on because a woman's not gonna disrespect a man she's afraid to lose. Okay. Mm -hmm. If she's not afraid to lose you, she's going to shit on you in front of your friends and her friends. So that's, an, that's a pretty good sign. Yeah. It's, it's kind of, it's a, it's a physical representation of if you uh, your, your value in the world is increasing as in the eyes of a, of someone else. Yeah. And a lot of older guys tell me don't guys don't, don't, date until you're successful and i you know I, I see why um makes some sense because women are a distraction people but, are a distraction usually but uh, but you know like if you can if you can balance it go for it just don't make it, her the there's focus. a there's a whole lot of imbalance in success most of the time yeah kobe bryant even said someone asked him so what does a relationship with you look like and he says, oh, you would suffer because we would never, like, you'd never see me because I'm always in the gym. <laughs> you got to be okay with that. And what I was thinking of, ah, oh, man. Homie died, like, a couple years. Oh, he's dead. 
couple of years after he retired and he, he probably would have still been grinding on like media and the investment and stuff but like just a whole lot more time to spend with family and that's you stuff. know he would have been in space jam it was supposed to be him you watch that movie and you're like this should have been kobe oh kobe. yeah yeah imbalance but i mean that also means at a certain point say you're striving for success <laughs> if you you reach that big ass goal that you tricked yourself to be disciplined for at the end of the day you still just want good relationships with people and peace in your life so have that in mind as you're as you're striving to make time for you one yourself most importantly to get in that whole individual responsibility cycle but make time for the people that are your family and they'll love you because if you don't do that you know you're just in a rat cycle of a, of a bigger rat cycle and then what are you gonna do Go on the beach. Go ahead. You don't uh, I, I, I don't know what I was going to say. Yeah. Just... But you don't like family? I'd rather have a beach. Whoa, where'd you get that from? I would say the opposite of what I was saying. Oh, you, you always assume I'm going to say the worst thing possible. Just, just no, I would rather have a family than a beach any day. But it's a nice beach. I don't care. Crystal blue. So Eight. what? 76 degrees. The nicest beaches I've ever been on were with my family. Uh, uh, that's beautiful. That's, that's, that's a nice chapter title or a book title. Yeah. yeah. Like, what am I going to go to the beach alone? I mean, that's cool. <laughs> but... I do like beaches alone. I, I had a thing about beaches. I was going to bring up. 